Okay, now uh, cash flow statements. Uh, now let's take up this question here. This was the same question which uh, I had taken up in the uh, previous session. I'll just uh, go through the initial parts and then we will do the second and third step, right? Uh, this was the question. Avtar Limited made a net profit after tax of three lakh forty thousand for the year ended thirty first March two thousand thirteen. The following information was given. This is thirty first March two thousand twelve and this is thirty first March two thousand thirteen, right? Stock trade receivables provision for taxation prepaid expenses trade payables. Now additional information that was given. Was depreciation amounting to fifty thousand, insurance claim received fifteen thousand, profit on sale of investment five thousand. Right. Now we did this first step in which we took the net profit, which was three lakh forty thousand. To that we added the provision for taxation of the current year. The provision for taxation is given for both the years, previous year and the current year. You have to take it for the current year. So fourteen thousand is added. And less extraordinary item, which is the insurance claim receipt, right? So that was fifteen thousand. So we got our net profit before tax and extraordinary items as three lakh thirty nine thousand, right? Now after this, we have to make. Let's go to the next page. Um, net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Right, uh, we got it as three lakh thirty nine thousand. Fine, three lakh thirty nine thousand. Now to this, we have to make the adjustments for non cash and non operating incomes. Adjustments for non cash and non operating incomes. Right. Now let's see what all is to be added here. First of all, depreciation which is given there, that depreciation amount which is fifty thousand, that will be added over here, right? So you will say depreciation that comes to fifty thousand, right? After that, you have uh, profit on sale of investments. Profit on sale of investment is to be subtracted, right? Loss is to be added. Profit is to be subtracted. So here we have less. Profit on sale of investments, right? That was the amount was uh, five thousand, right? So here fifty thousand is to be added first to this. <coughs> so when you add fifty thousand to this amount, it becomes three lakh eighty nine thousand. Less, this is five thousand. So five thousand. If you deduct from here, then you will get three lakh eighty four thousand, right? Now this three lakh eighty four thousand. This is your operating profit before working capital changes, right? Okay. Now we got three lakh eighty four thousand here. Now after that, you have to make the ad, uh, adjustments for the changes in working capital, right? Now here, this one. This is the operating profit before working capital changes, right? So that was three lakh eighty four thousand, right? So we take this amount three lakh eighty four thousand. Now to this, what is to be added? You have to add the decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities. Add decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities. Right now, from the list of the current assets and current liabilities given to you, you have to see. Where all it has decreased? So it's a decrease in stock. Stock has decreased by two thousand rupees. So that is to be added. Fine. So we'll put that first. Decrease in stock is two thousand. Fine. 
after that trade receivables has increased okay decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities fine provision for taxation is a current liability it has decreased prepaid expenses is a current liability which has uh, increased prepaid expenses sorry prepaid expenses is a current asset not a current liability fine uh, so that will not come here now you will have trade payables trade payables will come provision for taxation is not going to come in this if you had provision for doubtful debts that is a liability now they have given provision for taxation that is to be taken for the first step here right so we will not consider it in the working capital changes now you have uh, this one increase in trade creditors uh, increase in trade payables right here you have this 75000 80000 so it has increased by 5000 rupees so in increase in trade payables by 5000 so the total is here 7000 So seven thousand is to be added to this, so that becomes three lakh ninety one thousand, right? Now after that, what is to be deducted? Now here increase in current assets and decrease in current liabilities, right? Okay, now see. you have increase in current assets so trade receivables is increasing earlier it was 67000 now it is 96000 so you have 96000 minus 67000 that is equal to 29000 fine so here you have trade receivables increase in trade receivables the amount is 29000 fine then increase in prepaid expenses prepaid expenses what is the increase 2000 2000 so the increase is 6000 fine so the total of this comes to 35000 so 35000 has to be deducted from here so you have 391000 minus 35000 which is equal to 356000 Three lakh fifty-six thousand, right? Now here you have three lakh fifty-six thousand. This is the cash generated from operations. Right? Now after that, income tax paid. You have to see. uh whatever is the previous years provision for tax that will be treated as the amount of tax paid now here we have been given this provision for taxation provision for taxation this one here the previous uh years sorry not this one provision for taxation
ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर एंड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड इज फॉर द करेंट ईयर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फॉर द करेंट ईयर वॉज ऑलरेडी टेकन फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ नेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स एंड एक्सट्रॉनरी आइटम्स नाउ फॉर द इनकम टैक्स विच इज पेड वी टेक द प्रीवियस ईयर्स दैट इज दिस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व प्रीवियस ईयर्स प्रोविजन फॉर टैक्स एज द अमाउंट ऑफ टैक्स पेड राइट सो हियर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड विल बी टेकन एज द अमाउंट ऑफ टैक्स पेड so you will have to here you will have to deduct that right less income tax paid now the amount was 20000 so i'll deduct 20000 from here that comes to 3 lakh 36000 3 lakh 36000 right now this 3 lakh 36000 is the cash flow before extraordinary items in this you have a insurance claim which was received insurance claim which was received means it is a receipt right you have received this fine now 15000 is the extraordinary income that has been received that is to be added here right add insurance claim which was 15000 rupees So I write fifteen thousand. So now what is the total? Three lakh thirty six thousand plus fifteen thousand comes to three lakh fifty one thousand, right? <clears throat> this comes to three lakh fifty one thousand. Now this three lakh fifty one thousand is your net cash flow from operating activities. so finally you arrived at the net cash flow from operating activities which is equal to 3 lakh 51000 fine <coughs> this is the answer right so uh, the provision for taxation you have to remember this the previous years provision for taxation will be taken as the amount of tax paid right and if at all there is a refund of tax then this refund of tax will be subtracted from this right okay hmm? and the current years provision and the current years provision for taxation will be taken as the provision for tax for the current year right which will be taken for the calculation of net profit before tax and extraordinary items now the another thing that is important here is there was an extraordinary item here insurance claim right insurance claim is an extraordinary item in the sense it doesn't occur in the normal event of the business so uh, it's not a routine kind of a thing so it is a extraordinary item so first of all when we calculated this uh, net profit before tax and extraordinary items we deducted that extraordinary item because we want the net profit before tax and extraordinary item right and finally when you do all the working capital changes and all after that when you deduct the income tax paid then you have cash flow before extraordinary items and then you have to add the insurance claim because that insurance claim has been received now supposing there is a extraordinary item which has resulted in a payment in that case you will subtract that right so this is a, a complete question uh, in which we had 
all the three steps, right? First of all, calculation of net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Then operating profit before working capital changes, right? And after that, this one, the cash generated from operations after doing the uh, changes for the working capital, right? Then you had cash flow before extraordinary items. And then after adding the extraordinary items, this one, this is your final answer, right? So with that, we come to the end of this uh, question on cash flow. So we'll take up some more questions in our next session and we'll do cash flow from investing activities, right? We have got two other things which is cash flow from investing activities and cash flow from financing activities. But the cash flow from operating activities is the most important. In cash flow from investing and financing you don't have much but cash flow from operating activities involves a lot of calculations and many items are given in this. So even if you miss out any of the items or do some uh, wrong uh, calculations or something like that, everything goes wrong, right? So you have to be extra careful when doing these questions. It is very simple, but the thing is the items that have to be added or uh, subtracted, that's, that needs to be understood. Now here we had done this. Uh, operating profit before working capital changes, you should know that decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities is to be added and increase in current assets and decrease in current liabilities is to be subtracted, right? Same way for the non-cash expenses, whatever items are to be added and subtracted, that is important. So that has to be learned, right? So with that, I'll end this session. Bye.